The charity sessions, take two. So I'd just like to say, by the way, that there would be no black males in any of my movies. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. You're awful, <laughs> I never thought that I would meet an animal that looked like me But I was before I was wild, before I was free Never thought that I would write a song that wasn't about a boy But back then I was a child, back then I wasn't me I never thought that I would see a sister and a spider Never thought that a tree could be like a brother to me Test recording balcony outside Chowdy. Ooh. Action. <laughs> <laughs>
The one and only singing Pray Mantis. When I wake up early in the morning, live my head. I'm still yawning when I'm in the middle of a dream. Stay in bed, float up street, float up street. Please don't wake me, no, don't shake me, leave me. Good morning everybody, this is a day in India. My apartment. George playing music in the background. Good morning, India. Good day and welcome to Karesta Bear's Indian <laughs> Cookery Restaurant. That is so bad, George. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to do the... And uh, we will now go into the kitchen. Okay. So, over here I am cutting some onions and trying not to cry. Uh, well, I'm making rice and bhaji. I'm making uh, bindi, also known as okra and lady's finger. So here we, we, we cut the onion small in the garlic. Yeah, onions, garlic, ginger, tomato, and as for spices, I've got some jeera, jeera powder, and uh, just some mixed. Uh, mas oh, that's not mixed masala. And uh, healthy and coriander. Mm -hmm. Also got some fresh coriander, mm -hmm. which we could use maybe. And what's in the pot? Oh, and rye, rye. Oh, that's the rice and dal which I've just um, so I'm just soaking for like a little while, as long okay. as I can. So we will leave <laughs> Christopher in the kitchen here <laughs> because George is very busy boy and has things to do. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> We return to the kitchen for an essential step. I washed my lady fingers <laughs> and then dried them uh, uh, really carefully. Yeah. And then I slid them down the middle, cut off the tops and slid them down the middle. And then I sort of just um, sprinkle it with a combination of spices, whatever I had handy, except for the jeera, which I'll put directly into the pan. So there's haldi, salt, pepper, coriander, um, garam masala. And then with a little bit of oil, I'm just sort of like mixing it up and then I'm going to leave it um, on, you know, on the side for a while while mm -hmm. I make the rice mm -hmm. and do, get that started. So that it soaks up uh, all of the masalas and mm -hmm. yeah, and then we'll just put it directly in the pan. Okay. Just to just make sure you don't have any water come in contact with this mix of yours of bindi and things. Otherwise you get a soggy mess mm -hmm. on your hands at the end of it. Yeah, don't forget the salt and pepper when you're uh, doing your masalas. Alright, call you in a bit. Okay. Good day and welcome back to Christabel's Indian cookery classes. <laughs> so. Okay, so this is rye. Yeah. Yeah, you know what rye is anyway? The mustard seeds. Sarson. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got enough to last a long while. Just a few. Mm hmm. Put them in the oil. And then when they start to sputter, mm -hmm. maybe I put that in too so Yeah. Starting to sputter. When it start to sputter, mm -hmm. just gotta then you can just put a little bit of onion in this just for like a little bit of flavor. Mm-hmm. And quickly drain this off. Yeah, 
And here we see Ed from Calcutta helping in the kitchen today. This is how uh, we used to stir in uh, my home village. Obviously, stirring technique would change depending on location. Oh my god, that's from rubbish stirring. <laughs> we were called rubbish stirring village. Okay, now if you put whatever cup you use to measure out your rice in your mm -hmm. dal, you yeah. use the same cup. And uh, once you've got like a nice ear on your rice and uh, dal, you put double the total quantity. So we've got one cup of rice and a half cup of dal, so we're going to put three cups of water in there. Alright? Yeah. Prisabel, we'd like to present you with the lunchtime award for Indian cooking. The food's burning. Why are we doing oh, this? <laughs> Ta-da! Look in there. Oh, yeah. Yummy. And this is called? Oh, the lens is fogging up there. This one? The lens is fogging up. So the lens is fogging up, and this is? <laughs> So there we have it, lovely Indian dish, the lens is fogging up and you're such a freak <laughs> and you're such a freak as a side dish. <laughs> I think this is your cue. Oh my god, but who is this? We wish to present you with a bouquet of bottles. <laughs> You've had to go through a lot of water to get to this. Thank you. This was the water used to put the fire out in the kitchen. <laughs>
walks to the sea. She looks straight ahead, not at me. Tall and tan and the mountain black and white. Girl, come eat the meat of this water. When she passes a smile, when she doesn't see. She's as blind as a bat.